Sunset Boulevard is a 1950 American film noir, directed and co-written by Billy Wilder and produced and co-written by Charles Brackett. It was named after the thoroughfare with the same name that runs through Los Angeles and Beverly Hills, California. The film stars William Holden as Joe Gillis, an unsuccessful screenwriter, and Gloria Swanson as Norma Desmond, a faded silent film star who draws him into her fantasy world where she dreams of making a triumphant return to the screen. Eric von Stroheim plays Max von Meyerling, her devoted servant, and Nancy Olsen, Fred Clark, Lloyd Gow, and Jack Webb plays supporting roles. Director Cecil B. DeMille and gossip columnist Hedda Hopper play themselves, and the film includes cameo appearances by leading silent film actors Buster Keaton, H.B. Warner, and Anna Q. Nielsen. Samuel Billy Wilder was an Austrian-born American filmmaker, screenwriter, producer, artist, and journalist whose career spanned more than five decades. He is regarded as one of the most brilliant and versatile filmmakers of the Hollywood Golden Age of cinema. With The Apartment, Wilder became the first person to win Academy Awards as producer, director, and screenwriter for the same film. Wilder became a screenwriter in the late 1920s while living in Berlin. After the rise of the Nazi party, he left for Paris, where he made his directorial debut. He moved to Hollywood in 1933 and in 1939, and he had a hit when he co-wrote the screenplay for the romantic comedy Nanachka, starring Greta Garbo. Wilder established his directorial reputation with the adaptation of James M. Cain's Double Indemnity, 1944, a film noir. Wilder co-wrote the screenplay with crime novelist Raymond Chandler, Wilder earned the Best Director and Best Screenplay Academy Award for the adaptation of Charles R. Jackson's story, The Lost Weekend, 1945, about alcoholism. In 1950, Wilder co-wrote and directed the critically acclaimed Sunset Boulevard, as well as Stalag 17 in 1953. From the mid-1950s on, Wilder made mostly comedies among the classics. Wilder created in this period are The Farces, The Seven Year Itch, came out in 1955, Some Like It Hot in 1959, and satire such as The Apartment in 1960. He directed 14 different actors in Oscar-nominated performances. Wilder was recognized for the American Film Institute, otherwise known as the F AFI, Life Achievement Award in 1986. In 1988, Wilder was awarded the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award. In 1983, he was awarded the National Medal of Arts. Praised by many critics when first released, Sunset Boulevard was nominated for 11 Academy Awards, including nominations in all four categories, and won three. Deemed culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant by the U.S. Library Congress in 1989, Sunset Boulevard was included in the first group of films selected for preservation in the National Film Registry. In 1988, it was ranked number 12 on the American Film Institute's list of 100 best American films of the 200th century. And in 2007, it was the 16th on their 100th anniversary list. Wow. That's quite an achievement. It is. I've made up my mind. We'll bury him in the garden. Any city laws against that? I wouldn't know. I don't care anyways. I want the coffin to be white. And I want it to be specially lined with satin, white or deep pink. Maybe red, bright flaming red. Gay, let's make it gay. How much will it be? I warn you, don't give me a fancy price just because I'm rich. Lady, you've got the wrong guy. I had some trouble with my car, flat tire. I pulled into your garage so I could get a spare. I thought this house was empty. Well, it's not. Get out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your friend. And I don't think red is the right color. <laughs> Get out. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I recognize Or should I call my servant? No, no, you're... Oh my gosh, you're Norma Desmond. You used to be huge. In fact, you were big back in the silent pictures. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. I knew there was something wrong with them. They're dead. They're finished. There was a time when this business had the eyes of the whole wide world, but that wasn't good enough. Oh no, they wanted the ears of the world, too. They opened their big mouths, and out came talk, talk, talk. Well, that's where the popcorn business comes in. 
You buy yourself a bag and you plug up yours. Look at them and their front offices and masterminds. They took the idols and smashed them, the Fairbankses, and the Chaplains, and the Gilberts, and the Valentinos. And who have they got now? Some nobodies. A lot of pale frogs croaking pish posh. Hey, don't get sore at me. I'm not an executive, I'm just a writer. A writer? You are writing words, words, words. You've made a rope of words and strangled this business. There's a microphone right there to catch the last gurgles and the technicolor to photograph the red, swollen tongue. Shh, you'll wake up the monkey. Get out. Uh, next time, I'll bring my autograph book. Or maybe a hunk of cement and I'll ask for your footprints. Just a minute, you. Yeah? You're a writer, you said? Why? You are or aren't you? I believe that's what it says on my driver's license. And you've written pictures, haven't you? Uh, sure have. Um, the last one I wrote about was actually about cattle wrestlers before they were through with it. You, the whole thing played on to read a book. I want to ask you something. Come in here. The wind, it gets in that blasted organ. I ought to take it out. Or find a better tune. How, how long is a movie script these days? I mean, how many pages? Depends on what it is. Are we talking Donald Duck or Joan of Arc? This is to be right here. Take my script. This is to be a very important picture. I've written it myself. It took me years. Hmm. Looks enough for about six important pictures. It's a story of Salome. I think I'll have DeMillo direct it. Uh-huh. We've made a lot of pictures together. And you'll play Salome? Who else? Just curious. I didn't know you were planning a comeback. I hate that word. It's a return. A return to the millions of people who've never forgiven me for leaving the screen. Fair enough. Salome, what a woman. What a part. The princess in love with the holy man. She dances the dance of the seven veils. He rejects her. So she demands his head on the golden tray, kissing his cold, dead lips. They'll love it at Pomona. They'll love it every place. 